you know that getting carried to the game? Do you ever wish you could contribute more? Do you dream about being able to join Monster Hunts with players that are ahead of you and not burden them? Then look no further. Hi everyone, in this fifth episode of Hunt With Me, I will be showcasing how effective poison can be if you are looking to compensate for a lack of damage to help your carries out. This is not an all-encompassing video, so I will be stating a few conditions. Here is some general info to note first. Poison works well on bow, and then the SNS, and then the hammer. This is based on speed of proccing the poison effect. Your goal is to be able to activate poison twice during the hunt. This is easily achieved with a bow due to higher attack speed, but SNS and Hammer can achieve it too. But beware if the monster level is too high, for example a 9 star hunt, the threshold for poison is also higher so you may only be able to proc it once. A bit about poison is that every monster receives a fixed amount of poison damage no matter the grade of the weapon that you're holding. That means if you manage to activate poison in higher star monsters, you're going to be punching way above your weight where your regular DPS setups could probably never match up. Here's an example of a failed 9 star hunt I had with two carries. Shogaru is using a max level poison hammer and Prince Xavier on an 8.1 Paralysis SNS. I was using my regular elemental setup that's pretty neat for my solo hunts towards poison neutral monsters like Kuru. Sorry that I'm making him chase me. Paralyzed and poisoned as well. It's a lot of damage. We might be cutting this on close. I'm gonna have to really try to hit his head. Maybe it's hot. Try to do as much as I can. And I should have my special soon. There we go. And I think I'll try and wait for the next paralysis. Um, what is that? He's moving around so much. I do not know if we have enough time. Probably not. Alright. I guess it's not enough. We were far from completing it. Monster still had a fifth of health left. I simply was not contributing enough. Here's our second attempt where we switch things up a bit. Shogaru goes full DPS using a max level Diablo's hammer. Yes, he has two max level weapons. <laughs> While Prince Xavier stayed on his Paralysis SNS. I used my Poison Puke bow that's only grade 7.4. And of course, I'm running 5 focus. This time, Shogaru could focus on dealing a ton of raw damage, especially during the paralysis effect, while I helped with poison infliction for that extra DPS. So, I want to make sure that all my shots land. Um, if I can get it on his forearms, on his head, that's his weakest spots for oh my nice table. They're going hard. I haven't get poison king, so I think I should get in about now. There we go. So I'm going to put any damage. I think we're doing a lot better than the previous one. So maybe it's working. I actually think we're going to do this in time. Okay, they're both helping. I think I'll wait for the second paralysis um, to shoot my special, but I think we got this. He's really, really low. Okay, okay. Oh no, stop running. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So I guess the switch up worked. Boom. We had seven seconds left. There probably aren't many of you that are in the same position I am, aka being a leecher at times, but either way, I hope you found this insightful. That being said, no matter where you're at with your progress in the game, just have fun and do you. Slay! For more on how poison works, check this video out by Shanti Plays. He shares really important information on how poison works in the game. If you prefer to read, I have included a link to everything poison related in the description box as well. Thanks for tuning in and if you like what you see, please leave a comment or a like as it really helps me know. Subscribe as well and hit the notification bell if you really 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 like it. Good luck hunters!